in that one, bro. Thank you to everybody for tuning in to this Sunday conversation. My people. Appreciate yes. you guys. Appreciate you guys. Yes. yes. But tell me a little bit about yourself, though. You know, this is the first, this is the launch of uh, what I feel is going to be something special. So before we kind of get into a bunch of other shit or whatnot, you know, we've been friends for a cool minute. I'm a huge fan of what you do. Thank you, thank you. You're a fucking genius. Appreciate that. People know a little bit about what you got going on. Um, before I start that, or as I start that, I come bearing gifts. <laughs> I did that, <laughs> as man, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and spark this up. Um, we're gonna leave that fan on over there. Actually, let's, no, 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 we're, we're gonna cut the fan real quick. Let's cut it. So, a little bit about myself. Um, how you got started? Maybe what intrigued you? Yeah, I'm a photographer, a cinematographer, and uh, I really got started back in 2006. I had a little uh, Fuji Fine Picks camera. I forgot which exact model it was. I just know it was Fuji Fine Picks, and uh, I had a blog called So Banana. Pick. I don't know right. if you remember that back in the day. Remember the clothing brand that you that you got going? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, back in the day, I used to uh, kind of have my daily, you know, blogs in high school, and I would like. Um, just kind of go around the school, you know, capture things that would happen, um, all type of events, and just like the regular everyday, day-to-day -day life of being an average teenager in high school, and being into fashion, and being into, you know, culture, and all types of different things, art, you know what I mean, you do art, so you got an art hat on, yeah, just like, you know let them see what you got, yeah, but um, just being into all that, um, kind of just fell into the photography and over the years I did it as a hobby until I started to do it you know as a profession and uh, once I stepped into that um, I met a couple of guys uh... sorry we spoke it's gonna take my time here but uh, I met a couple guys my partner now and my other partner who's you know not here with us right now but um, we uh, moved more into the cinematography more than the photography and over time it just kind of built up and built up even more and here I am today doing both more focus on the video because I found out that I actually like that more mm -hmm. I like the motion I like telling stories and it all stemmed from me telling stories on my blog you know what I mean I, I did a lot of uh, interviews I did a lot of uh, reviews of places I would go to you know back in the day when we would shop you know all over Melrose and like down uh, um, on 2nd Street and in Long Beach and uh, right now we're in San Pedro by the way so you know there was a couple of spots over here it wasn't too many but you know it was a couple of things and just that hunt for you know fashion I was a big shoe head so we were you know looking into a lot of shoes and I would record those times, standing in those lines, being on Nike Talk, you meet yeah. a lot of different people. I remember early on, sorry to cut you off, with the shoes, you were on the, uh, on the Bates Heavy. Oh yeah. You kicked it early when that first came out. Shout I, out to Pharrell. I, I, <laughs> I remember that. I remember when I first came out, I was like, what's this shoe with the Swiss yeah. Star? I was like, yeah. I wasn't understanding the concept at the time until I yeah. realized what it was becoming and what it was, but yeah, go ahead. But uh, yeah, I mean, you brought that up. That was a big influence for yeah. me, it's Pharrell. And he was a skateboarder. I was also right. a skateboarder at the time, you know. I can still skate now, I'm trying to <laughs> still skate. But um, at the time, I was really, really into it and heavy into being in the street. This is before I had a car, you know what I mean? My first car, well I should say van, was a Ford Windstar. So I used to, you know, I was the first one to have a car. So I would take that van. Out of the whole group or group yeah. or whatnot. And yeah. I would, we had the sliding doors, so we would make videos where, you know, we open the side <laughs> door, all the skaters come out the back and just like attack the docks or something like that. But yeah, that's that's yeah. really what I did back in the day. And, and it, it became more professional over the years. As I got older, I just started to hone in on what are the, the ways to actually make money in doing this. Mm -hmm. and stay in that vein and still be able to do it as a hobby and keep myself fulfilled and have fun with it. Who is Wally Champ? Look, he's got this big plaque yeah. on the wall. Actually, made by, who made that? Actually, big shout out to my boy, uh, Renee from LA3D. He's, I call him the shout Green Lantern. I, got, I call him the Green Lantern because this dude, man, whatever he can think of or whatever I'm thinking of, I set him over the idea, he understands me. His, just like you know yourself, I could explain something to you, and you can already start visualizing what I'm breaking down. So with Renee from LA3D, yeah, you know, it's this, that, whatever. I shoot him over the notes, and because he's a true artist himself, he he uh, 
you know, it brings everything to life. And so he did make that for me, man. So a huge shout out to Renee, man. I appreciate it, brother. Shout out to you, yeah. man. Yeah, thank you, bro. He's a genius, so, man. Yeah, man. And this is just, I mean, he's made uh, all the Hennessy boxes for me. Uh, my display case for the Maya Angelou stuff, a bunch of other stuff that we're working on, and so um, yeah, man, he's a he's a genius. He's dope, and so he's definitely been a, a huge uh, uh, impact in the short time frame that I've met him, you mm -hmm. know, and, and and building this relationship that we got going on. So look at Renee. So with that, with that, what what in 2019, you know, from where from where. Uh, when we first started till now, because it's been how many years now? Um, that was 2006, so 13 years wow. as of now. Sick. 13 now, years, not all video. Right. Most of it was photo, I think, for the first six or five years. Then I kind of went into the video side. And, I, and then I made you win, like in, oh, I'm guessing right now, was it 2019? It might be 2009. Around, I was, That's when I, I started working at Loaded. Right, I was yeah. going to say around 09, it's kind of, I guess disaster. You know, I knew of you. I seen you around. You know, sh uh, shook hands. Yeah. But then once we started, what we started doing uh, when we came together for our company, that's when I really got. The, I'm good right now. That's when I really uh, tapping out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all noticed that, right? That's on camera. So we were talking shit. Okay. Um, I think that's when I really started getting to know you. If I'm yeah. not mistaken, right? Once we had came into business um, and started working together. And from there, one thing I, I've always noticed about you is when we would work on certain projects, I know that that it was never the quantity, it was always the quality. And it's something it's something that that I always notice in Kai, because it's kinda of for You know, we wouldn't always agree, you know, it's five of us right trying to trying to do what we're doing so you can have yeah. five different mindsets of, of maybe their vision or whatnot. But I was always more so on the side of like, well man, I'd rather do less amounts. Yeah. But the quality of it be yeah. You know, that that much better. Do five runs, ten runs, but you put everything into those those ten pieces. And that's well, something right, that you were kind of right, you know, post uh, you know, doing a hundred pieces but maybe yeah. subpar kind of mid level and yeah. so that also let me know the attention to detail kind of where your mindset was at and this and is why you also become well at least it's my belief why you've also become so great at what you do now with, with the videography and yeah. And everything else, and so it's, it's man, just the whole art game, right? Just art in general is is when when creatives get together, it's so much easier to communicate and speak. I know it sounds like some like hippie kind of yeah. shit, but it's it essentially what you know, Renee with Rob Hill or with yourself. Shout out to Rob with Hill. Rob Hill, he got some amazing art. Y'all gotta go check that out. So you know, when you're communicating with someone like him, like yourself, or whatnot, that that are the top tier of whatever specific uh, uh, you know masterpiece that they're in, uh, art that they're in, mm -hmm. you know it. It's a lot easier to communicate. It's a lot easier to work. It's a lot easier to just do everything. And then not only that, you know, it's it's you need. I'm a big believer of having a strong, you know, core, whether it's a team or just people around you, also help you do better, be better. I know it inspires me. I mean, yeah. When I see like all my friends killing, even people that I don't know. Yeah. When I see just dope shit. Kind of just push yeah, you pushing me. It's just oh yeah. Too. I'm like okay, th you know, like that was dope. Yeah. Let me see if I can up one, you know, yeah. or if, if I can up it. Not because you know I'm hating or whatnot, just because it it's not a competition. Me. No, it's just it's just all right. If I do that, I know right. I'm gonna see you do something better. Right. So I'm like so okay, let's, let me let's, set my game up. Yeah. You know that was a dope piece that he did. Or man, that. But and for me, because I'm fucking psychotic with the right of the same thing with basketball. That translate across the board with anything. I can see you do a dope video or a photo and be like, okay, I see him, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get on my shit and yeah, do yeah. something else. Or, or Which is what? What is it that you do? You haven't even said anything me, to the people. Me. You know what I mean? I'm sure everybody already you know, know right me. now, but there might break be some dance, people. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he does break dance. I got video. I'm a b-boy, man. I'm I a got video. I'm a b-boy. <laughs> I do a little bit of painting, man. You know, every now and again, a lot I got of nothing else to do. A lot of painting. You know, I do a little... All these supplies up here, he doesn't have them for no reason. Yeah. You see all these laces, they go to what? Shoot, the kicks, man. The kicks. The kicks. The kicks. The kicks. The We're the in the place of kicks right now, too. <laughs> I can see them all over the place. It's crazy, because doing, you know, I, I've done art for as long as I can remember, but I've always just done it. And then, you know, I got into graffiti art, and I was doing that heavy. It was one of my real true passions. I was, I was doing it all the time. Always just drawing, 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 but... 
out of all the things, like even with art, like putting my art on shoes is like the last thing. That's that's the whole kind of ironic thing about it. You know, I never, it, I did it back in the day because see, growing up, you know, off uh, in the hip hop culture with all four elements, with DJing, MCing, you know, the graffiti art and break dancing, everything went real hip hop. Man. Real hip hop. Right. All of those elements. That's real hip hop. You know, and so um, it was. It was. I drew on shoes then, just because you know I did the graffiti yard on and whatnot. But it was just you just kind of did. It, it, yeah. It, it wasn't a thing. At least I didn't know it was a thing because there wasn't no social media either. So there could have been a hundred other dudes across the. Was it more yeah. for you a, a style thing or more like a like an expression thing? Like I just needed a, a, a right. medium to, to a get that out. Or? It was it was a bit of both because uh, definitely like you know it can it allows me to express myself and then kind of show off like hey you know I could do this or whatnot yeah. and then just when you're out there in these competitions you know you're break dancing or whatnot it's just. It was just kind of the thing, I guess, back then, too. You know, I was young. I was, you know, 13, 14, yeah. 15 years old. I'm just, like, neck deep in this whole hip-hop yeah. game, you culture. Break dance. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so the shoes was there, and if I wasn't breakdancing, I was drawing. So it was just yeah. like, oh, shit, let me just grab this shoe and just, you know. Yeah, that's your canvas. Whole, yeah, just do a whole piece on it. But that's all it was then, you know, until, not until, like, Seen uh, people restoring shoes on a level that I had yeah. never seen it, and I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, it kind of went to next level. Yeah, there yeah. were people out there doing it in the early 2000s, even the 90s. But right. 2000s, you know what I mean, when it started to get like, okay, we're now looking at the construction of the shoe. We're right. taking into consideration, you know, everything that these designers put into it, and we're reinventing that. Right. We're reshaping right. that. And in around 2008, 2009, it started to get crazy. I can't remember all the shoes that came out that year. Right. But there were a lot of customs that people were doing that were like, oh yeah, I would actually wear that. Right, that was the first right, time it right. felt like, you know what I mean? It wasn't right. more of a personal thing. It was like, I want those shoes. Right. You know, seen it, and uh, I just kind of started dabbling in it, you know, and just kind of, I wasn't thinking much of it. I was still working my regular nine to five then. Yeah. And uh, although, yeah, then I was still working and whatnot. And, um, but that's kind of when I started seeing, you know, where, where, it was kind of going or whatnot, but even then I was still just working my regular job. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't thinking about restoring. But still doing shoes. that, you know, on the side. Okay. Yeah, just here and there yeah. or whatnot. I was honestly around that time too. I was just so heavy in the basketball. I was just hooping all the time. Yeah. I was I get off work, I go straight to whatever open park or whatnot. No, actually, yeah. at the end of 2009, I stopped playing outside because I had 20 I mean, I know you still play yeah, today, so it had, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'm not getting up on Saturday <laughs> in the morning and about to go play basketball. I was so hoping, I, man. I, I give it to you, yeah. I'm not about to do that. I was hoping. To this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> hoping, and then, uh, but yeah, you know, and but I, you know, then I kind of got off. I was late, I was late to all the social media. I was yeah. always late, late to MySpace, to, uh, yeah. Facebook, and the Facebook, Facebook, you know, man. the yeah. Facebook. Uh, you know, <laughs> I was, Facebook. I was, I was late to everything, and because uh, I was never really a dude that kind of whatever the selfies or whatever that whole like, yeah. I just didn't really understand it. And then not until I started restoring, you know, which was closer to like 2014, when I kind of really was like, oh, let me, let me, let me just play with this or yeah. whatnot. And I was doing it um, after work, so I would work my regular job. But it's funny how life works because that all happened was I was getting ready for this little break dancing. It was 2014. I was getting ready for a this little break dancing kind of talent show mm -hmm. uh, for work. And so I had him break dancing like it was like a year or so, but I could always just do it. I did it for so long, you know. So I'm doing, uh, I'm practicing a couple moves or whatnot, and I, and I end up turning my meniscus. So. I was hot. I knew right away that I had tore something. I, I was hoping it wasn't my ligament like, again, because I had originally tore that in 2007. Oh, you already and, been. Yeah, and it was the yeah. same knee, so I kind of, I was very familiar with the whole, just yeah. all of that. And um, I go get the MRI, and it's my meniscus, because that was the best worst case scenario. Yeah. And I wasn't hooping anymore, and so because, Still bad. But. Yeah, <laughs> still bad, but, so I had stopped hooping, and then that's when I just had a lot of free time. I was just working hoops, and I was working, and had nothing else to do. Yeah. 
And so um, I started coming across more uh, artwork and more uh, of the restorations and whatnot. And that's when I picked up a, a pair of uh, my cool grade fours I had. And I restored them in some. I posted them on Facebook. And um, one of my boys, Michael, from uh, Shubay at the time. Mm -hmm. I remember Shubay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, posted it, shared it on his page or whatnot. And, you know, he, he a lot of people knew him. He was a great dude or whatnot. And then um, I started getting work sent my way, you know, so I just started doing it on the side. Yeah. And I started making some money. And, and that's, that's how that's yeah. how everything started was from there. Point being was all that came about is because I tore my meniscus. Yeah. But if I never tore my meniscus, I'm still hooping because I had a championship game the following week. I was hot. Oh. I was hot. I was hot. <laughs> it's over. I was hot. We were the yeah, number one team and they were the number two. Team, so it was. It was the two best teams made it to the championship, yeah. and so everybody's you know, waiting on that right. game. Right, so yeah. we had our last playoff game, then we had the bye week, and then we had the championship game. During that bye week is when I tear my, uh, you know, my knee up. So, um, but anyways, yeah, if I never tear my knee up, I never start dabbling into painting again or restoring shoes. And so I always think about that, you know, because yeah. basketball is. I like need it happen for a reason. Yeah, I, because. Yeah. I could always play ball, man. I could watch basketball all day. I could break it down. I could do all of that. But it took something I love so much. It took it took it away from me, and it put it into, um, you know, it, it it opened this up. You know, this this whatever this is, this opportunity to paint. See so what happens. happens. Look at God. Off of the torn meniscus. I don't know what y'all believe, <laughs> but I'm gonna say, look at God. <laughs> you know. So no, with that. We got we got hey, thank you for sitting down for me. Yes, sir. The Sunday conversation, man. Enjoy the rest of the day, brother. Yes, thank sir. you. Yes. Get out of here. Peace. Go.